sweeties I don't think that many of you know that I am a gamer and there is uh, there are quite a few games that I like to play so So that was the, uh, you know, that was definitely not vanilla or the Warcraft. I believe the first expansion that I ever played through was uh, Mists of Pateria, which I loved at the time. It was just such a beautiful landscape. just realize that I could talk about World of Warcraft for literally days on end, I think. So I might make a follow-up, a spring video about, you know, the other games that I like to play. Um, but yeah, anyways, so I kind of played it mostly in the winter, and, um, you know, I watched and heard, I watched a lot of videos about classic World of Warcraft, how things used to be versus the newer version of World of Warcraft. I've heard many stories which really made me very curious as to what um, the differences in playstyle uh, would be. So, I always said to myself that if Classic uh, would ever come out again in the future, that I would definitely like to try it. So, as the years went which I thought was really fun. And 
last year, um, 2018, when uh, Legion came out, I started to uh, get into uh, reading. You know, I had no idea what reading was all about. I mean, I've, you know, soloed uh, older raids and dungeons by myself that you were at this point able to to solo at level 110, but uh, yeah, in Legion I really got into raiding, I, I saw a lot of people talking about it in the chat, so it, it made me curious, I just wanted to see for myself what it was all about, and next thing you knew, I was, uh, I became a serious um, became serious about dungeons and uh, doing dungeons and doing raids and then also Mythic Plus Dungeons, which I thought was really, really fun. And I started to get into uh, transmog collecting since uh, 2000, beginning of 2018, I think, maybe end of 2017. Exactly, it's been a while, but yeah, um, World of Warcraft, in my opinion, and in, I'm sure many other people's opinions, is a very um, complex game. There is a lot to learn. You know, it's simple and not simple at the same time. Different, certain classes are definitely more complicated than others. I believe that under is considered to be one of the easy classes, maybe if not the easiest to play. But I remember when I first pl played World of Warcraft back in 2012, um, it was very, uh, well, it was very, very difficult for me because my English was by far not as good as it is now. Um, at least that's what other people say. And my vocabulary definitely grew over the last, over the span of the last, uh, you know, seven years. So when I first started playing, it was just really difficult because of the language barrier. I mean, I was able to speak English if you look at my older videos the ones that I made in 2012, you know that I was capable of speaking English, but, you know, you need certain vocabulary skills to, to do different things. Um, so, yeah, I had to learn, um, I had to learn a lot of words, different words that I've never seen or used before. But once I knew, once I knew the words, the meaning of certain things. That's when the learning really started. That's when I learned how to play the game. So yeah, I just took a little side road there. But anyways, back to um, Legion. I started to uh, organize little raids. I've never been a guild leader or anything, but I started organizing uh, little raid parties by myself learning the mechanics and be really serious about it too. So, this year I started playing, um, you know, BFA, Battle for Azeroth, and it was such a big transition because they scaled down all the numbers, so instead of now having item level um, 940 gear, you know, it was toned down to everything again, especially because they, you know, basically changed the classes again, like they took away the artifact weapon, and yeah, there's a lot of changes, and um, I do have to say, despite the fact that I had a lot of fun, I was mainly focused in Battle for Azeroth. So, uh, Mythic Plus Dungeons. 
as I usually play in the winter, I kind of stopped playing around, I think it's around March, March, April-ish, the beginning of this year, 2000, uh, 2019, I, I keep saying 2018, aren't I? I meant this year. so much was changed again, like a lot of people were such a high item level all of a sudden, and you know, the Azeroth power to level up your, your heart and like, just ugh, so many things changed, but I stumbled upon a tiny gold mine while I was getting back, back into it in Megagon um, you know, one of the new little islands that got added in Battle for Azeroth I started instead of reading up about it and 
stories, I just wanted to go and see it for myself, so finally made a character. I started out as a uh, druid healer, which was awful. I, I wanted to try a different class, it just, I didn't like it, I'm just not a healer in, in game. So then the second character that I made was a rogue, which I also just seemed to be naturally bad at, and the reason why I started out as a healer is because I, I watched all these videos and, you know, what is the best class to play? Are you able to get into dungeons? What is needed? Blah, on so forth, or, or um, uh, so yeah, I just, uh, that's the reason why I decided to play healer, and I should have just went to wanted to play, which was a hunter. So, my third character, I leveled up my druid healer to level 17. Then I switched to rogue, and I leveled the rogue up all the way to 33. And then I switched to hunter, beast mastery hunter, and oh my god, from that moment on, as soon as I started playing beast mastery hunter, absolutely loving classic like just so so fun like everything I was missing in retail World of Warcraft was available in um, you know classic and it's just um, in retail World of Warcraft from my experience this is just me, as well as um, an alliance character, as a horde character. There is just not a lot of communication going on anymore because a lot of things are automated and simplified and dumbed down, really, to the point where you can solo most content. But in classic, you need other people to help you out. Classic is not a solo game, even though the Hunter class is one of the best solo classes, if not the best solo class from what I've read, but, you know, there's a lot of things that you still need other players for, which made the game so much more fun to interact with people all of a sudden. are actually epic gear is actually epic again um, you know every time when you level up and you're in the guild and you ch you type in chat ding with an exclamation point or just the word ding uh, people know what that means it means that you leveled up I've learned that was really fun every time when I leveled up I would type in ding and you know people would congratulate you <laughs> I know that sounds silly, because if you're not a gamer, this all sounds like, you know, completely unfamiliar to you, but yeah, for the people that do play it, you probably know what I mean, and um, people just seem genuinely happy and interested in, you know, what you are up to, and your skills mean something. something again. If you have a certain piece of gear that is really good, you can, you know, it says something about the person, what they've accomplished in game, which is just really cool. I think that's really cool. So yeah, classic uh, versus retail. Classic it is so much more meaningful and because it's a lot harder, a lot of things are a lot harder actually get that piece of gear, um, or when you defeat that boss, you really feel like a sense of accomplishment, which I was really, really, really missing in retail, the communication with people, um, just being able to have the automatic group finder and nobody says a word to each other, and then when you finish the mission, or whatever it is you needed to do, you leave the group and you don't say a word this whole time, but, you know, meanwhile, in classic, you're in Molten Core for five hours, defeating all these boss 
resources and you know being on discord together with 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 this 40 man raid group like it's wild it's just it's I, I love it i absolutely love it it's so so cool i think and um so yeah i am totally into classic it's winter right now so i was in a guild before i won't mention the name um you know i don't like talking bad about people or anything like that but i do have to say the first guild i was in a lot of people were really nice but then um, when the guild the officer uh, left and another person that was very talkative um, that a lot of people really liked left uh, the guild fell apart the guild leader himself was um, uh, I don't really want to say this because it's such a negative word, but he was kind of selfish, he was using other players to help him out, but meanwhile, he was never really helping other players out, so, you know, after those two key guild members left, uh, the guild sl slowly started to fall apart, so one day I was in uh, uh, Dead Mines, or no, it was a uh, uh, what was it called again? The, uh, let me think. It's a Black Rock Mountain. It's not, uh, Black Rock, Black Rock Depths. That's where I was. Um, I was doing this dungeon and, um, you know, I saw, uh, this particular guild name come around here and there a few times. I really liked the guild name, so decided to ask uh, the person that I was doing the dungeon with what she thought about the guild and uh, what their main interests are, their main focus points of the game, like PvP or PvE or, you know, raids, dungeons, questing, whatever it might be. So I started talking with her, such a nice person, and uh, she ended up actually being the, uh, the guild officer. So she said uh, that if I wanted to join the guild, I had to uh, contact the GM, the guild master. And uh, so right, yeah, right after we were done with this dungeon, uh, about one and a half to two hours later, I believe, I contacted the guild uh, master. Really nice person as well. Completely different experience from people are retail really and so I um, yeah I started talking with the guild master for you know a, a good while and um, I was telling him about my situation so I decided to uh, leave the guild that was falling apart at that point completely and I actually heard later that three days later after I left as well the guild was uh, well the guild didn't exist anymore and the guild leader ended up making my previous guild leader ended up making another guild uh, which I have no idea of like I don't know the name or anything but yeah so I, I explained you know the, the new guild the future to be new guild master situation was like and that I really wanted to switch guilds so after um, uh, about one or two days uh, of talking a little bit here and there back and forth he said why don't you ask uh, your uh, guild leader if he is interested in submerging guilds because that's something that this new guild was interested in so I asked my the guild that I was still in um, if he wanted to uh, merge guilds but I never got a reply eventually I did get a reply but by that time I left the guild already so so yeah I found um, I think my permanent gaming World of Warcraft home in the 
this guild thing that I'm in right now. And uh, I'm a Beast Mastery Hunter. I leveled up from level 1 to 60 in about 5 weeks. I was really playing it, like really, really playing it a lot. And uh, I am currently in the process of... except for Ragnaros. Uh, we tried to take him down five times, um, three times one day, and then the next day we continued and we tried for another two times. That was right before the reset. Um, so yeah, we unfortunately didn't take him down. It was just because, you know, a lot of people that are playing classic now used to play vanilla back in the day, but there's also a lot of people like me that have never done this. So, I, uh, the guild, um, the, the group that I was with, though, when we did Ragnaros, was, uh, is actually really cool. They were, um, a guild before, back in 2004, and when Classic came out this year, they managed to so to speak, resurrect the guild and most guild members that they used to have back in the day in their guild back in 2004. They managed to convince them to come back, which is so cool, I think. So even though, you know, a little more than a decade has passed, or actually more than that, way more than that, uh, has passed, they managed to old guild members back into their current guild, which I think is so, so cool. And uh, so yeah, I've had me together with three other guild members of my guild and joined this, uh, this group. And uh, this group was uh, mostly a part of, um, yeah, it was just like part of one guild and then there were just a few as well. So yeah, it was a sick experience, even though we didn't manage to take Ragnaros down yet, but the fact that it took us about five hours to get through all of Molten Core and to learn all these different mechanics and just people really being really nice and patient, it was just such a, you know, it was exactly what I was hoping Classic would be like when I watched all the videos and heard all the stories about Classic in the past. So, uh, yeah, I am currently also in the process of finishing the Anixia attunement that you need to get before you can actually get into the raid. And I am on the last quest. I need to go to Upper Black Rock, uh, Upper Black Rock Spire need to do something there and then uh, get the amulet, the dragon fire amulet, I think, drake fire, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but yeah, I need to get that and then hand it in back to the guy in winter spring and then I can do the onyxia raid, which I will be doing very soon. So, uh, yeah, I honestly can talk about this subject for hours. I've also been about, I don't know, maybe screen record what I do, but uh, I've learned the hard way that sometimes you shouldn't mix, you know, hobbies with, with work-ish. So I don't know, I don't really know if I want to screen record what I do, maybe certain parts in the future. I don't know, I don't yes or no on that at the moment, so, you know, it is what it is, but I just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about what uh, kind of games I play, so World of Warcraft is definitely one of them. It's, uh, it really makes 
makes me happy to be honest it's just i love the guild i'm in i absolutely love the guild they're all so nice they're from different parts of the world and also a huge bonus my guild leader has such a breathy breathy soft and gentle voice um the first time that i went on discord expect somebody to have such a relaxing voice because in general most people just have a I don't know I guess a regular voice if you know what I mean so this person has such a relaxing voice oh my goodness I thought I was gonna fall asleep while doing the dungeon such a relaxing voice so that's a huge bonus um and uh, other than that everybody is just really nice really helpful they're helping me doing uh t to get my best in slot uh pre-rate uh gear pieces by running dungeons with me so that i can do my quests and you know get a chance to get those items to drop from the bosses and it's just great i just uh, i love it i can definitely see myself play some more classic during the winter that is around a corner over here we've already had two times when we had quite a bit of snow that fell down from the sky all oh, these soft little light snowflakes and um yeah i you know i i really do not like cold temperatures so by the time it's gonna get really, really cold here. I will definitely be hibernating indoors with my uh, my munchies and my chocolate milk, and uh, playing these uh, awesome uh, dungeons and raids. And uh, who knows? Maybe I will even try. You know, I don't know a second. see if I uh, if I can level up another character who knows you don't know what you don't know so I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the future in World of Warcraft but what I do know is that I'd love playing it and um, yeah that was uh, about everything I had to say for today about a different side of me and um, I'm gonna go and try to get some sleep myself at the moment and I hope that you will have a good night's sleep yourself as well